What's good? It's your boy, the urban legend, K to the Bird, KG USA representative all day in the building. And today, we're going to be talking about a company named McGroove. McGroove. It's a new distribution company that's out there, and it's a lot of good information I'm about to put y'all on. Let's get into some more free game. McGroove. McGroove is a new distribution company. They were established in 2019 by Fabrico Chavavo in Paris. The name is kind of crazy, but yeah, it was established in Paris, France. His partner, Pamela Ann Miller, is the one to help him establish the company with the logo and everything like that. But this company is different than most. With this company, it's actually everything is free. To upload your music is free. To just to distro your music to YouTube is free. To distro with the, all the major platforms is free. So today, this is some real fucking free game you're getting about the company McGroove. McGroove, the website is pretty very nice and easy to navigate. It's got good instructions to let you know everything you need to do. So, this company right here, it's a good company for artists that's probably doing their first release or artists that already got releases out there with other companies like uh, Distro or TuneCore and they uh, prescription ran out of, or their annual fee is about to be due and they don't want to pay it or they don't know if they want to pay it or not. So this is a good company to start with because it's free, yo. And free is always a good thing. But free always comes with pros and cons. You know what I mean? It's free, but it's not always free, free. So with this company, the only thing I gotta say about their free plan is, and that's the only plan they offer is the free plan. But in the small print on the company, they let you know that with every release that you do, $5 will be deducted from your earnings. Okay. I know most y'all, they thinking like $5, man, that ain't shit, it's just $5. You know what I mean? I plan on making big money, more money than that when I distribute my music. But if, if you do, if you've never been in this game and you've never been putting your music out there and you don't know the ins and outs about how to make money off streams and how the streaming shit work, you may think that that might be easy to do, but sometimes it's hard. You know what I mean? For artists myself, I've been doing it for a couple of years now, so I kind of know the ins and outs. So every month I get you know, at least every month I get paid for my music. You know what I mean? I ain't got to go into particulars and how much it is because I don't want niggas pocket watching me, but I definitely get paid for all my streams. I get paid for music monthly without this company because, you know, I already been with other companies for a long time and that I already established a relationship with. But I saw this company pop up and I was like, damn, this is a new company. So I had to get my information right about them. So <clears throat> all the releases are free. All the albums, all the singles are free, but they're taking $5 off every release. And I want to break that down to y'all real quick for your artists out there that's going to rush to this platform. Okay. If you're not an artist that been really doing this shit for a long time, building your brand, dropping records consistently, consistently, you know what I mean? it's gonna be hard for you to make some money in this game. And like most artists that ain't got their business together right, they probably making $100 a year off their music, which I can't knock it. I mean, at least you're getting something off your music. You know what I mean? But you always gotta aim for more. But most artists that just starting out, like doing their first releases or got an album out there that already passed this uh, annual resubmission fee time, you know what I mean? They only got like a couple tracks out. For artists like that, I know y'all gonna wanna use this platform because it's free and you ain't gotta pay no annual fee, none of that shit. Once your music up there, you ain't gotta pay no annual fee or nothing. But that $5 may seem like a little bit, but it can add up to be a lot. Let's say that you dropped 20 songs, 20 songs this year. 
And uh, each one of those 20 songs make generate five dollars. You know what I'm saying? Each one of those five, each one of those 20 songs generate five dollars. Just five dollars. But if you add all that five dollars up, that's like a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's like a hundred bucks. So you would have been on this company right here. You would have dropped 20 tracks, and each one of them earned five dollars. They would make a hundred dollars off you, and you not get nothing at motherfucking all. And that's the only thing I say that's bad about this company, because if they had a five dollar fee for like our annual five dollar fee, our annual twenty dollar fee, our annual ten dollar fee, when you had those twenty releases and each one of them generated five dollars, you would be making a lot of streams off your music, but you would actually be getting paid for your music. You know what I'm saying? You will actually be making money off your music. You know what I'm saying? So if you did that same thing with like Distro Kid, you did 20 songs. You paid them $20 a year for the upload fee. And you did 20 songs, and each one of them generated $5. You're gonna get like $85, because Distro Kid only taking like a 10% cut, 10 or 15% cut. But that's the bad thing I feel about this company, man. I feel like, for artists that's already moving and grooving and making this money out here doing their thing, the $5 ain't gonna really hurt an artist like that. You know what I mean? But still, an artist like that that's already making money gonna think like, hmm, should I go to TuneCore, DistroKid, CD Baby, or McGroove? They probably gonna think like, man, I ain't gonna pay for every release with TuneCore and with Distro, I can pay my one-time fee and then with CD Baby, I gotta keep on paying an annual fee, not an annual fee, but I can have to pay a fee for my releases because CD Baby is one of the companies that don't do no annual fees at all. But most artists that start making money gonna be like, man, I'm gonna stick with the company that I already got because like some of them ain't charging you no percentages, but you gotta pay for your own money to music to get distributed. And that means you got full ownership over it. So Anybody that distributes your music for free, always gonna have some. Also, man, like if you got an album out there and you stop fucking with Digital Kid and your, your 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 subscription already ran out, your time already ran out for your annual fee, you don't want to pay your yearly dues with them, and you got an album out there and you like, damn, I want to still get some money off that album. You could take that album and do the shit with McGroove, cause McGroove wants your Spotify link. And you give them permission to use certain songs on your Spotify link, they're gonna use it. So they can then keep your shit going and get you money off it, but just know that they're taking five dollars off every track, even that five dollar cut off all your releases. So if you did a whole album, I don't think they can charge you per track on the album. So it's always a loophole to go around shit. If you got like 20 songs out there that singles, combine them together, put them as an album and then go to McGroove and be like, all right, I'm gonna let y'all run this album right here. Y'all take y'all five dollar cut off the album. But if you like most artists nowadays that drop singles before they drop albums, on the single term, I don't think it's a good idea if you got a bunch of singles and you be like, all right, I want y'all to handle that for me. It's gonna be cool, cause it's gonna be free, but that five dollars gonna add up. That's all I'm gonna say, it's gonna add up. So all in all, man, this company, McGroove, is new. They're trying to set a new bar, and I understand where they're coming from. I understand their perspective. They're trying to make it artist-friendly. And what I mean by artist-friendly, and I mean independent artist-friendly, they want it to be free for you to get your music on all those platforms and share it. And I understand that, and that's a good thing. That's why I ain't knocking this company. This company actually is providing a good service by letting you get your music up there for free and only wanting five dollars you know what i mean it's cool and some and in some ways it cannot be cool just depends on the artist just depends on the business the label how y'all handling y'all how y'all doing y'all business out here and shit but me personally i didn't invest with this company because I already got cd baby distro kid and tune core that i'm locked in with that we making money together I got good relationships with everybody over there. I'm a VIP artist on TuneCore because of all my streams and the revenue I generated. I even helped other artists generate revenue over there, you know what I mean? Under under the label, 
you know what I mean? So it's all good. So I stay where, you know, I'm appreciated. So that's why I'm still rocking with those three companies. But this company, they had my interest peaking, but they wanted they wanted my catalog. They want they, they offered me to get my catalog, man. They wanted my catalog. They was like, if you don't want to distribute no music here, they keep on sending me emails like they say we already see that you already got a big fall and enough records out there that's moving. Could we manage some of your catalog? And I didn't like that because I feel like once I let them in on some of my catalog, they might never they might never want to let that shit go. You know what I mean? Even though it might don't seem like millions of dollars right now, but they might never don't want to let that shit go, which could be long term money, which in five years that shit can buy them a luxury sedan off my music. And I don't want that type of shit to happen to me. I don't want that kind of business to happen. So I had to turn them down. But I like their company. I like what they was, the way they pumping themselves, the way they promoting themselves, and how they pushing it for getting your music out there for free. How they really pushing everything is free here and it's really free. So I respect them on that level, but I don't trust them enough to have them manage my whole catalog. I'll manage certain songs in my catalog that's already generating revenue. And I'm getting all that revenue because I already paid my yearly fees with Distro. You know, I paid my fees with TuneCore. You know I me mean? straight up the, the prices that I gotta pay to get them distributed, but I own it all. And that mean 100% of the revenue I'll generate it comes back to me. So that $29 for the album, that $9 for the single, I recoup that money. And with CD Baby, man, I got records I didn't put out there on CD Baby since 2015, 14, you know what I mean? Years ago, that's still generating revenue. I mean, I, most of them generate at least $75 a month on CD Baby, $75 a month for like the last three years, bro. And that shit, you don't have to pay no annual fee with to get your music, you know, to stay up on CD Baby. Once your music live on CD Baby, it's live forever. You ain't gotta pay no annual renewal fee. And that's why I got all three of the platforms I just named. But this company is a good one for a new artist that's just starting out, they ain't really caring about the money, just wanna have his music out there streaming. Or a new artist that feel like he can damn make a hundred dollars in a month or two months or three months or whatever. He know he can make money off the music, so the five dollars ain't gonna kill him. And it's a good idea for that type of artist. So all you independent artists out there that's looking for a place that's free, that's really motherfucking free, for everything really free, my groove is where you need to be. It's your boy, K to the bird, and I just put y'all on some more free game. Get y'all on the next one. Peace and love.